Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to pick up another project vehicle I purchased the other day. Uh, it's actually going to be a 1985 IROC Z, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's kind of a barn find, so we'll go ahead and get headed up the road and pick it up today. Camaro Z28 IROC edition. Uh, I just picked this up today. I'll go ahead and take a look around the car. Um, right now it's painted black. It was originally red. Um, as you see as we go around the vehicle there's a lot of the original red paint still underneath. Um, currently does not have an engine in it or transmission. It was stored in a uh, storage unit for the last 10 years, so it's got a lot of dust on top of it, but it uh, looks pretty solid underneath. We'll find out once I get kind of deeper into the car if it has any issues or anything. But just kind of picked it up today. I wanted to get a quick video of it, um, kind of with all the dust on it still, and let you guys see what it looked like.
does have some suspension mods already. It looks like it has an Edelbrock sway bar underneath. Or actually, it's a Hotchkiss Performance sway bar. It has an Edelbrock sticker for some reason, so I'm not sure what the story is there. But um, anywho, it's got that underneath. Um, seems pretty solid. I don't know what gear ratio the rear end has or anything like that yet. Um, does need. Looks like the fuel tank might be leaking, so I'll probably be replacing that. Solid underneath. I don't see any major rust issues so far. And then you can kind of see, you know, underneath the black paint, it still has the red in some places. Um, it still has the original spoiler. And this is an 85 model, so it does not have a third brake light on the rear glass or the rear spoiler. You can kind of see here. So here's some of the original red factory paint underneath. Just a little bit more. So pretty clean car overall. Um, let's look underneath the gas cap here. So again, just a little bit of the underneath the black. You can kind of see some of the red. So I do not have the original motor. I believe it came with a 305 originally um, that was fuel injected, but it doesn't have that with the vehicle. So. I may end up doing an LS swap. I'm kind of debating what I want to do there yet. Um, but that's one of the options I'm looking at. Possibly doing an LS motor um, with maybe a six speed behind it. So anywho, just figured I'd get a quick video for you guys here of what it looks like. Um, it should be a pretty nice project. So you can see the engine here. That's the power steering pump kind of hanging underneath. But pretty clean overall it seems like. Go ahead and uh, comment below what you guys think I should do engine-wise, uh, what the goals should be for the car. I think I'm probably going to make it, uh, if I keep it a little bit longer term, I might make it a pro touring car and maybe do an LS swap with a six-speed, but uh, let me know your thoughts below if you have any other ideas or suggestions of what I should do. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.